Hello. Let us introduce InstaGTO3. The most accurate and fastest GTO hand tracker. A solver. A trainer and an analyzer. Now, let us get into more details. When running the software for the first time, InstaGTO shows you the setting wizard. By clicking on the auto detect button, you set and pair your tracking databases for example hold a manager poker tracker, and hand to note. If your database does not load, you have to do it manually in the setting wizard by clicking on add manually option, or in the setting below the database section. The next step in the setting is the possibility of displaying between big blinds and chips on the table. When the setting is completed, you can run your imports from the loaded database. Hands can be loaded even from the text file or can be pasted. All imported hands you can display in the hand history section. Now, we let import our hands and take a look at the solver. In the solver, you can choose either format, solution, BB effective, or the preflop action. Preflop ranges will be added in the next version of InstaGTO. By choosing three cards on the flop, you display the first action. In the first action, you have displayed the table with the grid. The bottom bar shows possible actions, expected value, and the percentages of the current action. By clicking on the action bar, you can view all possible actions. By clicking on the positional abbreviation you can switch between the chosen actions. Now. Let's have a look at the GTO grid. By holding the left mouse button you lock the card's grid under the table. Using tab, you switch between strategy, EV strategy, EV IP, EV OOP, and equity. By clicking on the R button, you either switch the range off or on. The A button adjusts the range in the percentage up to 100. The A button should always be on. The S button represents suits. The green S button turns on all the suits. The red one turns them off. The C button represents combinations. It works the same way as the previous S button. Left click turns off and on the individual suits. Right click chooses only one suit. The combination charts work the same way as suits chart. Left click turns the combinations of etc. The buttons positioned below the grid highlight the colors of the preferred action. There is a setting button in the right upper corner where you can find the button setting and other additional settings like changing the card display, chips mode etc. Also, you can open a new solution in the current window. Open a brand new boards with the same setting. Or add a new solver window. Now, we look at the aggregated reports. In aggregated reports, you also choose format, solution, BB effective, and the preflop action. All possible flops with strategies, expected values. EVOOP, EVIP, and equity are displayed. It is possible to sort out values from the lower position to the highest one. In the right bar, you can filter the visible boards. As already mentioned before, the green T button adds all filters, the red one removes them, right click views only one filter, left click adds or removes the filters. In the filter manager, you can also create your board filters. Individual filters include strategy, expected value, EV, OOP, EV, IP, and equity. Otherwise works everything in the same manner as in the solver. Our hands are imported now. We can check them directly in the imported hands or in the hand history. In the hand history, there are many displaying options. 
Hands can be filtered according to the date. Effective big blind. Stakes. Site. Format. Postflop solution. Preflop action. Hero. Hero group. Opponent. Opponent group. Combination. And according to the board. The opponent and hero group can be created, deleted, and edited by you like this. Fill out the group name. Select your color and search and select players. Next, we can create the board filter here. We introduced the board filter in the aggregated report section. Also, we can create filter groups, where we can choose individual filters according to your preference. The hand chart displays your imported hands, cards, actions, and other details, including the frequency difference and the EV difference. By positioning your mouse on the underlined actions you can view the possible and selected actions. The grid below the hand chart shows you your actions and the strategy of your game. By clicking on the individual action you display it in the replayer. There is an overall bar in the right lower corner, where it is possible to choose two modes for reviewing your game. The first one is the mode marked as Learn from Mistakes and the second is marked as Replay Mistake Hands. Both of them serve as a trainer for your learning. In particular, you can choose only the exact mistake level that you want to go through. With the up and down arrow, you control the visible hand, and with the left and right arrows, you can control the selected action. Next, there is a table which shows the cards that you hold. The white border shows you the played action whereas the green border shows the best action. HUD Analysis In the HUD Analysis section, you can view all the possible stats, from which you can learn how to play current stat action optimally. HUD analysis filters work the same way as the filter in the hand history section. There are four types of HUDs. It is possible to sort them according to Frequency Frequency difference and expected value Only frequency difference And expected value versus GTO HUDs are divided into out-of-position play and in-position play. The individual out-of-position play and in-position play are then divided into initiative preflop and defense preflop. Initiative preflop out-of-position is for example 3-bet spot in heads-up. Defense preflop out-of-position is for example versus raise in heads-up. Initiative preflop in position is for example button versus small blind raised spot. Defense preflop in position is for example button versus UTG 3 bet spots. Let's introduce the stats numbers in frequency HUD type. The first number represents the percentage of your play, and the number that goes after the slash represents the percentage of GTO play. Frequency difference and EV HUD type, the first number before the slash represents your play minus GTO. And the second number represents the expected value of the stat. Frequency difference does not differentiate between the two numbers. It only shows your play minus GTO. EV versus GTO shows only the expected value of the stat. You can adjust the big blind columns in the settings and all stats have own detail window what you can open. On the right side of the row, there is a graph icon which displays the stat details. There are four different graphs. 
The left upper graph shows you the play of the hero according to GTO on different big blind levels. For example, from 5 to 9 big blinds we play bet for 10%, but GTO plays it for 12%. The value in the brackets shows the number of the played actions. The right upper graph works the same way just from the opponent perspective. The left graph below displays your and the opponent's EV loss according to the optimal play. The higher is the column the greater is the loss. For example, this two last columns show you the overall loss and we can see that the hero is losing less EV than the opponent. In the brackets below the graph you find the count of the hero's actions and the count of the opponent's actions. The difference between this graph and the previous one is that this one shows you the loss over time instead of th loss according to big blinds. Versus player section enables viewing your overall plays against the individual opponents. It is visualized in the graphs. These graphs show you hands graph with the overall EV GTO mistake difference. It means that you can see who is playing better GTO play. Whether it is you or your opponents. The following graph section serves as a graph overview of all hands that you filtered. In Situation Trainer you have limitless options for training every situation in the game. There is a list of actions that you can choose to run. Moreover, you can select the post-flop situation, the pre-flop action, effective big blinds, and many more that makes your training more effective. The chosen action with all the marked options is displayed in the trainer. Under the table there are bets. Each click on the bet changes the whole cards. When you finish the board, it shows you GTO grid or you can check your play and move to another board. Let us return back to the situation trainer menu. The stats work the same way as in HUD analysis section, but they are aggregated to one action group. This square shows the GTO difference of the stat group and the following number shows EV loss versus optimal play. Positioning the mouse on the table icon you display all stats separately. Now let us explain the colors of the squares. The green color manifests at your play is very similar to the optimal one. The more the color changes to red the bigger is the distinction between yours and the optimal play. Finally, let us take a look at the live versus bot trainer. The trainer section introduces widespread variability of situations appearing at the tables. You can select filters the same way as in the situation trainer. In the trainer section, you can choose the number of tables at which you want to play a session. Let's open four tables and play a little bit. As can you see, tables are dynamically showing and disappearing and you finish a particular hand. Let's finish last hands and check the results. There are all trained hands in the session in the currently played hands tab. We made a lot of mistakes, as you can see in the FD and ED columns. Let's display HUDs. Filters are working for training situations and HUDs. Thank you for watching. The download link is in the description of the video. There are also links to our social networks and websites where you will get a free trial version. You can look forward to many new updates and calculations in the near and distant future. 
So thanks again for watching. And good luck at the tables.